Here in a secluded corner of the southwest German countryside is the home of a man now considered the German interpreter of William Shakespeare. Hail to thee, my birthy friends. Come rein. Frank Günther is the first person to translate all the works of the great bard into German. After three decades, he's close to completing his new edition of Shakespeare. This year sees the publication of the final volume. The biggest achievement when translating the entire works of Shakespeare is not to be scared off. You sit at your desk every day, and sometimes you'll go three hours without writing a single line, because your mind is blank. The sun is shining, and you want to go outside. But staying put is a real achievement. Day by day, line by line, Frank Günther delves into the world of Shakespeare. He's always wary of the traps a translator can fall into amidst a wealth of puns and double entendres. Here's a great example. One character talks about a coat of arms, while the other thinks he means a coat to wear. One talks about looses, and the other understands louses. The challenge is getting that across in German. Frank Günther says one-to-one -one renderings are the most boring kind of translation, although inventing new words while retaining the meaning of the original can demand a bit of linguistic gymnastics. Can a Shakespearean character let off steam? Not really, because letting off steam wasn't possible until the Industrial Revolution and the steam engine. There are now entire groups of words that wouldn't be appropriate for Shakespeare's time. Translating literature is all about finding the right emotional tone. And in the case of Shakespeare, of course, that is rarely easy to find. Murder, mystery, romantic farce, the range of emotions covered by the English language's finest playwright is unparalleled. My bounty is as boundless as the sea. Mein Herz ist weit, weit wie die See. My love as deep. Die Liebe grad so tief. The more I give to thee, the more I have. Je mehr ich geb, umso mehr hab ich. For both are infinite. Beides ist unendlich. Man kann zum Beispiel sagen, dass Shakespeare vollkommen verstaubt ist. You could call Shakespeare out of date. On the surface, his plays are anything but modern today. But if you look deeper, you find the fundamental situations that are familiar from your own life. Except with Shakespeare, they're dressed in a different historical context. The wit in Shakespeare's dramas belies their age. Frank Günther holds special seminars to help dust down Shakespeare for potential translators. He prefers a theatrical approach to conventional lectures and stale recitals. The plays were meant to be performed, not simply read, he says, and this still applies today. He also does Shakespeare adaptations for the big screen, a real challenge, even for this experienced translator. When a schauspieler on the leinwand says, I have got no time, when an actor on screen says, I've got no time, and the German actor then says, Ich habe keine Zeit, the audience will notice the discrepancy in the mouth movements and be distracted. You have to translate with the lip sync in mind. And that can be an adventure. It certainly is a labor of love for this committed Shakespeare fan, and sometimes love might just briefly give way to hate. And although it's an arduous task, it is one he repeatedly finds inspiring. So thanks to his inspiration and dedication, Frank Günther's translations are the most frequently performed versions of Shakespeare on the German stage today.